Hey everyone, this is Taylor Rotwell, the creator of the Laravel PHP framework. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with Laravel Spark. Spark is a SaaS toolkit for building your next big idea. It helps you set up monthly and yearly subscriptions, allows customers to update their payment method, and much more. Let's jump right in. All right, I've got a fresh Laravel application here built on Laravel 8 and powered by PHP 8. And to get started, I think we should let users log in and register with this application. Now, unlike previous versions of Spark, the next generation of Spark does not care what front-end technology you're using for your application. In this case, I'm gonna use an application starter kit that we've released through Laravel called Laravel Breeze. I can install it via my terminal. Let's install it using the Composer Acquire Laravel Breeze console command. That's going to install Breeze. Once that's installed, I can run the Breeze install artisan command. And then finally, I can install my NPM dependencies. And once those dependencies are installed, I'll be ready to compile those dependencies with the NPM run dev command. Now, once these dependencies are compiled, we'll be ready to migrate our database and then we should be almost ready to go. I've migrated the database, so let's refresh this page and we can see the login and register links right here. Let's go ahead and create an account. I'm gonna create an account for myself by just filling out these credentials my password and there we go i've signed up for this application i can log out and then i can log back in using those same credentials so we've already totally scaffolded out the authentication system for this application and next we're ready to talk about subscription billing so next let's install laravel spark now in the next generation of spark there are actually two editions of laravel spark there is spark stripe and Spark Paddle. And of course, Spark Stripe corresponds to the Stripe payment provider you may be familiar with, and Spark Paddle corresponds to the latest addition to the Spark family, which is support for the Paddle payment provider. Now, Paddle makes it easier to collect VAT taxes as well as introduces a PayPal integration into the Spark ecosystem. In this demo, I'm gonna install Spark Paddle, and we can do that again using Composer. I'm gonna go to my terminal, Composer require Laravel Spark Paddle, I'm going to let that run. And then once that is installed, I'm going to run the spark install artisan command. All right, now back in my application, the next thing I need to do is add a billable trait to my user model. This is gonna tell the user model how to interact with Spark. I'm gonna to go to my application, open up the user model and add the billable trait. And let's import that trait, spark billable. Now, next I'm going to re-migrate my database because this billable trait actually hooks into the user creation process and we need to make sure that's taking place when we register. So let's go to our terminal and re-migrate our database. Artisan migrate fresh. All right, and now I should sign out of this application and we're going to re-register. All right, so I'm gonna click the register link. I'm going to create an account, type in my password, all right, and now I've got a fresh account and we have installed Spark, but next we need to configure our payment plans. So let's look at that. So payment plans are configured in our application configuration files. So I'm gonna open my application. Within the config directory, there is a Spark configuration file. And this configuration file was installed when we ran the Spark install artisan command. Within this configuration file, we can control various Spark settings such as the path to access the Spark billing portal. We can also see different billing plans that are available for our application. All right, so I've already actually created a, a configuration file that will get us started with some basic subscription billing plans and we'll walk through it together. I'm gonna paste it into this configuration file and let's take a look. Now, down here in the billable section of the configuration file, we can control different billing plans for different types of models. So for my user model, I'm going to have a five day trial and then I've got a couple different plan options that users can choose from. And for this example, we're gonna pretend we're building a new billing panel for the Laravel Forge server provisioning service. All right, so I've got two plans. I've got a hobby plan and you can see right here in the configuration, I can just configure my monthly plan ID and my yearly plan ID. And these come from your paddle account dashboard. I can also configure various text about the plan such as a description and some of the key features of this plan and these features will be displayed to users when they access the spark billing portal I've also configured a growth plan this is a higher price plan it has its own monthly and yearly plan identifiers as well as its own descriptions all right so that's it for configuring payment plans it's really easy you can just configure them right here in this configuration file next we need to let users actually choose a plan in our application UI so let's dig into that 
All right, so we're back in our application UI and we want to let users access our billing portal. Now remember, in the next generation of Spark, the billing portal is a totally isolated, separate part of your application. That lets you have total freedom on your front end technology. So we need to link to it. All right, so maybe it would be a good idea to put it in this drop down menu. We can add an entry for billing. All right, so let's do that. Let's open up our code base. Let's go to the navigation menu that was installed by Laravel Breeze. We're gonna just copy this drop down link for logout, add a fresh one above the logout link, and then we'll just adjust this to link to the billing portal. Now remember, in our Spark configuration file, we can configure what address is the billing portal attached to. So I'm gonna go to my Spark configuration file, scroll up to the top, and you can see a path of billing. So that's how I knew to put billing in the link. All right, so let's just change this text to billing. We should be able to refresh our application, open the drop down menu, and there we go. We can access the billing portal for our application. All right, so here we go. We're on the billing portal. We can see the available subscription plans and even subscribe to a plan. Let's dig into that. You can see here, of course, as we discussed the monthly billing plans, but you can see I can also switch to the yearly options for these billing plans. I'm going to pick a monthly plan. So to subscribe, all I need to do is hit subscribe. This is going to open the paddle widget that allows users to enter their payment method information. I'm going to enter some of my information here. Hit continue. I can choose to pay by card or use PayPal. I'm going to pay by card and I'm going to enter a test credit card number here. I'm using the paddle sandbox for this example. Enter in some information here, expiration date, security code and subscribe. All right, now paddle is handling that purchase. It works totally based on webhooks, which spark handles for you. You can see it's processing that subscription. And now we are subscribed to the hobby plan. You can see now I can see my current subscription plan change my subscription plan, update my payment method, cancel my subscription and view my receipts. So everything a user needs to do regarding billing is handled right here in the Spark billing portal, totally isolated from your application with a beautiful fresh design. All right, let's explore some of these options. So like I said, we can change subscription plans. When I hit this button, you can see it displays the available subscription plans again, as well as shows me which plan I'm currently subscribed to. Now I can choose another plan that could be another monthly plan, or I could choose an annual plan. I'm going to upgrade to the growth monthly plan. So to do that, I just hit subscribe paddle will process that. And then once that is done processing, I will be subscribed to the growth plan. And you can see that's done. I can also update my payment method. Now, when I do that, the paddle widget will open again, allowing me to enter fresh payment details, either a credit card or PayPal. I'm going to close that out because I'm fine with my current payment details. I can also pause or cancel my subscription. So when I cancel that subscription, you can see that this wording is going to update and it's going to allow me to resume my subscription until the end of my current billing period. Once I resume that subscription, everything is back to normal. I can also view my receipts and this links to a great detailed invoice hosted by paddle of the customer's receipt that they can download. It's really great. I'm going to close that tab and now we're back on the billing portal and you can see I can just return to my application right here on the left hand side. And now I'm back in my application. And again, we could just access the billing portal right there. It's so easy to get started. Now you may have noticed when we went to the Spark billing portal, it didn't exactly look branded to our application. For example, Laravel Forge has kind of a green color scheme, but we can update that right in the Spark configuration file. Let's open that file again. Now, if I look in the Spark configuration file and scroll down, I see there's a branding section. Let's go ahead and uncomment that. Now, we allow you to make just a few tweaks to the Spark billing portal so that you can make it match the look and feel of your application. I can change the color that is used as sort of the primary color for all of the buttons. In this case, I'm going to set it to BG Green 500. Now, that corresponds to a class within the Tailwind CSS framework that represents a color. All right, I can also specify a logo. Now this is the absolute path to an SVG logo that matches my application. So I've got one here already ready to go on my snippets folder. So what I'm going to do is just copy that and then put it in that path. So public SVG forge.svg and let's just rename that to match our configuration file logo.svg. All right, so everything looks like it's matched up here. Let's go ahead and save that file and then let's reload our billing portal. 
and you can see now that the branding has been updated. The buttons have been updated to this nice green color that matches Forge, and our logo is in place on the billing portal. So now when we access this portal, it matches the look and feel of the Forge provisioning service. All right, to wrap up this screencast, I think it would be cool if we had a notification in our UI that lets a user know they're on their free trial and they should pick a subscription plan. All right, now let's do that. I've already got a little snippet in my clipboard, so I'm just gonna navigate to my application code, go to the application layout that was installed by Laravel Breeze, and right here above the navigation bar, I'm just gonna paste in this little banner. And now if I look at this code, you can see it says, if the user is on a trial, I'm gonna show this banner that says, enjoy your free trial. Don't forget to choose a subscription plan if you like our product. So now that I've got that banner in place, we can just go back to our application, refresh the page, and oop, you don't see the banner because remember, we already subscribed to a subscription plan. So that's actually working just as expected. To demo this, let's go ahead and log out and create a new account. I'm gonna register a new account for my friend Adam Wathen, the creator of Tailwind CSS. Type in his password and sign up. And now you can see that banner is right there. Enjoy your free trial. Don't forget to choose a subscription plan if you like our product. And when I click that, I go straight to our billing portal. And that's Laravel Spark, the next generation. I hope it helps you launch your next big idea. We just scaffolded out an entire billing and authentication system in about 10 minutes. That's crazy powerful. I hope it takes you to the next level and helps you launch the next thing you've been dreaming of.